Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here and end up enjoying today's content, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and red subscribe button before you leave. You can also follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss, same name as the YouTube channel username. And while you're looking at that, you can also click on it, go to videos and see what else we have in store if you're a fan of MLB The Show gameplay. Now we're launching a brand new series called The Daily Investment. And basically what it's going to consist of is me demonstrating three players that I have invested in throughout the day. Now these players are going to range in tiers and they are going to range in predictions as well, just like any roster update prediction video. But the difference is I am not going to be giving out stats or attributes for these players. I will save that for Saturdays and Sundays as I usually do. And we're adding another episode on Wednesdays for roster update predictions. It's going to be the final cut where it might include or not include some players that made it on Saturday and Sunday. Anyways, let's get into investment and how I invest basically. So we're going to start off with the common that I found. So his name is Brian Reynolds. And for commons, when it comes to investing, I usually go all out for them. why you might ask. Well, commons to me are a low risk, high reward. If they go bronze, you can exchange a bunch of them and get some silvers and you might get some pretty expensive silvers, some silvers that are going to gold. But if you don't feel like holding on to those silvers, you can always just sell them off in the market or you can exchange them into gold and even make a bigger profit. Now, if you do get bad silvers, there's always the possibility of making a uh, way less profit than you would have if you would have just quick sold all the bronzes. But I feel like leaving it up to chance or placing your bets, I don't know how to say this correctly, but gambling in a way by going ahead and taking the chance of getting that high tier silver, I feel like that usually works out a lot more than just quick selling the bronzes since you wouldn't be making much stubs, just 13, 14 stubs a pop. So there goes that. So for silvers, I try to go all out as well. For commons, I want to say I try to get minimum of, of at least 100 of those players. And I usually stop buying those players once the selling out price reaches over 25 stubs just because I know I won't be making a profit at a quick selling. So as soon as it goes to 26 stubs, I stop buying for silver players. As soon as it goes near, I want to say 1,000 stubs, I stop buying because I know I won't make a profit if he does go gold and I end up just quick selling. For diamonds, I stop buying around the 5k mark just because usually diamonds when they go diamond they inflate in price a little bit or before they go diamond they inflate in price big time and i know i can make a profit there and then when it goes to bronzes to silver usually when they hit over 100 stubs in terms of sell now i stop buying just because i know that from quick sells i won't really make a profit so here you're going to see me invest into carlos santana a bunch i put 20 orders in the common i put 20 orders into carlos santana i might have actually put a bit more orders into the common than I did into Carlos Santana. I don't remember exactly, probably did 25 of each. Who knows? But here I'm just showing you guys I invest in these players too, and I end up losing out on stuff sometimes. I end up making big money sometimes. But so far this year, it's all been profitable. So that's the good news about it. For golds, I usually try to get a minimum of 10. For silvers, I usually try to get a minimum of 50. For bronzes, I try to get a minimum of 75. So it goes 100, 75, 50, and then 10 in terms of tiers if you're keeping up. But with the gold, I'm investing in Trevor Bauer, even though he isn't performing really greatly right now, because I have high hopes that in the future, especially near the all-star break, etc., he can just turn it around, pick it up, and then be on pace to go diamond again. I have high hopes for him. And buying him at a thousand a pop, I'm not losing any stubs because if I quick sell him, it's for a thousand. So it's literally a great investment in him at the current moment. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, once again, make sure you hit that like button, red subscribe button. If you're excited about this new series, make sure you comment it down below. And if you want to follow me on all on any social media, I should say, ask me anything you can. Blade Miss, same name as the YouTube channel username. And as always, guys. Looking for some more content? Go ahead and click on the channel, click on videos, see what we have in store, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.